Okay, this diagram here is uh, number 433 from the uh, field service manual of a B-17F. Um, just wanted to show uh, how this diagram is related to uh, the uh, Norden, Norden bomb site. If we go into the uh, legend over here, <clears throat> Number 232 is the uh, stabilizer receptacle. That's the uh, stabilizer base for the uh, Norden bomb site. And these, here's number 232 over here. And these pins here correspond with the uh, large cannon connector on the side of the uh, bomb site. Uh, number 95 here, where it says release interval, is for the intervalometer pins 1, 2, 4, and 5, and uh, what that's related to. Um, the rest of the diagram here deals with the uh, bomb racks and other um, electronics associated with that. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, we have the flight control circuit, um, which deals with the uh, different uh, flight gyros and servos, uh, some of which are associated with the Norden bomb site. Uh, over here in the legend, you see there's also a number 232 stabilizer receptacle. Uh, up on the diagram, we see 232, and these again are the uh, pins coming out of um, the large uh, cannon connector on the side of the stabilizer base. Um, just moving back to the uh, bomb control circuit here, just another note, uh, pins 8 and 9 off of 232 here uh, go directly to the um, PDI, pilot's directional indicator, uh, in the uh, cockpit. Um, moving on, we have, I'll go first to the, um, the head, the actual bomb site circuit here. Um, uh, probably of most interest is the uh, automatic release switch. Uh, it's a, a set of contacts that um, close uh, when the um, bomb site reaches its target. And then this is the, um, the solenoid uh, that causes those uh, to, uh, to close. Um, this connector here um, is the harness that goes from the head and plugs into the, um, the side of the uh, stabilizer base. It, it appears as if uh, pin 5 is not used. Um, moving on, um, this is the diagram for the stabilizer base. And uh, this connector here, uh, pin 6, 7, 10, 13, 9, 8, 2, 16, and 15 are the, uh, what's used on the uh, large cannon connector on the side of the stabilizer base. Uh, note again here, pins 8 and 9 is the, um, uh, the circuit there for the uh, PDI up in the uh, cockpit. So this line goes out of this connector directly up to the uh, PDI in the con in the um, cockpit. Uh, these switches here are the switches that are on the side of the stabilizer base, your uh, PDI bomb site, your uh, servo and your stabilizer. And then you have your other circuits for the uh, the gyro and the servo and so forth in the uh, the other circuitry there. Uh, this connector here, pins 1, 2, 6, 4, and 3, uh, that is the connector that goes up to the, um, the head of the bomb site. Um, hopefully that'll help anyone um, who's uh, <laughs> working on restoring uh, a bomb site into an old uh, World War II bomber. Um, these two diagrams here uh, come directly out of the field service manual for the B-17. I'm going to assume that it's similar 
uh, in other aircraft. These two diagrams here uh, for the stabilizer base and for the, uh, the M9 head uh, I found on um, twinbeach.com. Uh, welcome to the uh, Norden Bombsite webpage. Uh, it's a wonderful website that uh, gives all sorts of information uh, about the Norden bomb site, uh, different revisions, history, and so forth. Uh, I, I found this very, very useful. Uh, then this is where I found these wiring diagrams. And um, this is uh, a very rare connector here. <laughs> I imagine very hard to find. Uh, anyhow, uh, hopefully uh, somebody will find this uh, video interesting. Thank you.